Welcome everyone. It is Sandra Alexei here <clears throat> and I am your personal muse. I am a um, business and spiritual coach and astrologer and numerologist and I do self-discovery for individuals. Okay, <clears throat> if you go underneath to the show me, you, you can see my website and it is called My Personal Muse and it shows you the different services I offer and all of the different things that I have done. <clears throat> I've been very blessed. Anyway, I'm also an author and this will be my fourth book, but I did co-author this one and actually the third one. I was a part of a group of... Uh, of authors and so you can look at this one it's called game changer it's the new model of relationships and if you go to the top you will see where you can order it on amazon and i actually have a couple i ordered um, a couple in because some people wanted them and then i'm going to be offering some of them as gifts throughout the year because if you in fact like okay that'll bring my algorithms up so I hope you do that if you would like this particular video if you would share it and I would really um, appreciate it if you would subscribe to the YouTube channel if you also put um, a comment once a month I do a drawing and somebody gets a free mini reading because I do a lot of readings and sessions on zoom and so it's a great time starting a new year to see what the new year is going to bring for you because that's what the topic of today is. So this will be my last session on finishing off 2022 and what we can expect in 2023. And today is uh, December 29th and Mercury's retrograde and it's really been playing tricks. So I've spent a lot of time on doing this particular um, document. Now I'm also on Facebook and so people can go on Facebook and they can actually print this off because there's a lot of, 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 um, lot of insights, lots of messages I have to share with you and the dates are there so you can use, you can uh, use it anyway. Um, let's get started and I want to thank you for taking the time to stop by and hopefully something resonates with you okay so January of 2023 wowzer that's all I have to say many breakthroughs and there's going to be some order out of chaos an eventful year with shocking disclosures that must be revealed and cleansed by the light. 2023 is a game changer year with major shifts. Now all seems to be opening and we are unsure of, well, what's next? First of all, I want to say, be very gentle with yourself. We have been through traumatic times. It's been very tiring to the soul and the body. And we were meant to wake up and evolve in consciousness. We've been going within, reassessing, okay, so that we will be more deliberate and conscious as we enter and send, set our intentions and goals and invocations, whatever, for 2023. Now, let us just review our lessons and learnings, okay? Well, Mercury retrograde September and October 2022. Now, again, in December of 2022. So we went within and did a lot of thinking. Next, Pluto, Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, Chiron, and Uranus were all retrograde. Okay, wow, sir. It's a wonder we're still functioning. It's actually toughened us up and it stopped us because when it's retrograde, we have to sit and reassess. Okay, this is what we start 2023 off. Okay, so Mars goes direct at 8 degrees of Gemini on January 12th after being retrograde since October 30th, 2022 at 25 degrees of Gemini. And it's now time to get organized and move forward. 
Mercury goes direct at eight degrees of Capricorn on January the 18th after being retrograde since December 29th of 2022 at 24 degrees of Capricorn. And now you embrace more authentic ways of being according to the insights and ideas that you had during the retrograde period and now align with new ways of thinking and have some clarity. January 22nd, 2023, Uranus goes direct, 14 degrees of Taurus after being retrograde since August 24th, 22, and you got it. Now, listen to your knowing. Okay, and trust your intuition using discernment, living a more authentic life. Life. Now, if you think it's a duck, it is a duck, and no one can persuade you it is not a duck. The other lessons with Jupiter and Aries retrograde from July 29th, 2022, and it finally went direct of November 20, 23rd, 22, you were exploring opportunities and possibilities and now ready to blast off as it inspires, awakens, and ignites you until May of 2023. Now, Neptune retrograde in Pisces from June 28th to 2022 until December was a time to let go of false beliefs and illusions that have been holding you back. You had to remove the rose-colored glasses, which took courage, felt uncomfortable, and still will feel uncomfortable and confusing. Interesting what you've seen. Next, not an easy retrograde. It was inner appraisals as Chiron, the wounded healer, was retrograde in Aries from July 19th of 2022 until it went direct on December 23rd of 2022, wherein you embarked on an inner conscious awareness of your own inner ins insecurities, personal struggles to encourage and inspire yourself. That's your work. Now, 2023, we have forward momentum. Okay, yes, excited for the new. However, you may still feel exhausted. We will journey through the major themes and energies of 2023. All the themes you have to think are like pieces of a puzzle. And so we put all those pieces of the puzzle together and we get a synthesis of what is actually happening in 2023 and it creates a whole so to start off 2023 is the chinese year of the water rabbit which starts sunday january 22nd at 2023 the yin water element represents the energies of sensitivity intuition and in its most positive form the way of inner peace now that sounds very enchanting so your job with all the shifts and changes is to hold the line as it is also a number seven cycle here and the energy is all about diving inward, taking care of you. Now, the focus on spiritual and personal growth and evolution, trusting in the divine or whoever or whatever you align with spiritually. We're bridging, okay, from 2022, which was, believe it or not, about relationship changing. A focus six universal energy year. Your lesson, who was and is your true friends and family? Who had and has the same frequency or resonates, resonance? Who had your back and who was just trying to get something, okay? What 2022 revealed was the true colors of individuals, corporations, politics, education, pharmaceuticals, healthcare, etc. energy. We endured a very fearful and corrupt energy. For as loving and light is an energy, the opposite is dark and an evil energy. There, as the rose-colored glasses were broken, we now move into a time of reflection and inner focus with the rabbit chair. The cycle is all about ascension, waking up to self and truth. Now, the powerful, magical, alchemical energies of 20, 
2023 have a lot to do with the astrological, planetary, universal cycles and the process of ascension as we embrace the Age of Enlightenment. The Age of Aquarius, ruled by the planet Uranus, represents higher consciousness. The humanitarian energy of self-sufficiency, sovereignty, freedom, and discovering our gifts and purpose and interdependence. We will not feel like a boat bobbing on the ocean, nowhere to go, we're not sure what to do in limbo. We will finally see a lighthouse which will give us some internal direction. Relationships have struggled because we've shifted from the Piscean codependency model to the Aquarian interdependency model. That's why Game Change is really good because it's self-interactive and the first chapter is all about self-discovery. You have questions that you have to answer. So what am I supposed to be doing? Where am I supposed to be living? Who am I supposed to be in relationships with? So the questions this year. With Pluto, Saturn, Jupiter, and the lunar nodes, all changing signs in 22. As a comparison, in 2022, only Jupiter changed signs. So expect lots of shifts and changes which may put you on a totally new path. Hard to do predictions, however, learning about the upcoming transits will assist you in synchronizing with the universe and making use of opportunities and possibilities. The major theme transit of the year is Pluto shifting into Aquarius. Okay, that's from 2023 to 2043. We get a taste of the energies as Pluto spends three months in Aquarius, March 24th, 2023, until June 12th of 2023. March is going to be a pivotal month because Pluto is powerful. An incredible time to get a session of reading as to what house or houses in your personal natal chart Pluto is transiting and what is your personal lesson or journey. Time to let go of inner cobwebs and skeletons that prevent you from seeing the truth and embracing your sovereignty, self-mastery, personal power, and let your own light shine through and, prof and professionally manifest your talent. You are offered the gift of complete spiritual evolution, the release of the caterpillar into the divine destiny of the butterfly, beauty and freedom. Pluto demands that we surrender and trust the process and allow the transformation to take place as the light cleanses the world collectively, similar to a septic tank. Cleanse it, rinse with water and light. Then it's uninterrupted 20-year journey through Aquarius officially begins November the 19th, 2024. Now, the outer planets, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, are the movers and shakers. However, Pluto completely and utterly transforms your lights. You change from the inside out, as you've been doing. Pluto in Aquarius is the global, populist movement, transformative, and pro progressive, bringing significant deep transformation to our lives. It's all about shedding our old identities and deep transformation to our life. And everybody that no longer is of no benefit or serves us, you uncouple with grace to make space for something better. Aquarius and Pluto are both about regeneration and their combined energies have incredible power to advance humanity on a global scale. Personally, Pluto and Aquarius urges you to transform your view of yourself and your place in the world. The change that Pluto and Aquarius wants to see in us, you will answer the call. Who are you? What do you want? Okay. The theme of Jupiter moving into Taurus on May the 16th, 2023, brings more clarity as it joins Uranus and Taurus for a few months. And with the North Node in Taurus, excellent for manifesting. With your Uranus and Taurus and North Node in Taurus, have been trying to initiate the last couple of years. You now have the confidence in knowing. Still do your due diligence. Jupiter in Taurus focuses on finances and worse. So watch for the Jupiter 
for Jupiter conjunct the North Node at two degrees of Taurus on June 1st, 2023. Jupiter sextile Saturn on June 19th, 2023. Another big shift. These are the dates you need to know. Another big shift is Uranus and Taurus, May 15th. And that came 2018. And it goes until April 25 of 2026. Majority of the time. And the nodal axis, the north node in Taurus and the south node in Scorpio. So Uranus in Taurus and the north node in Taurus continues impacting financial systems and stability around the world. Your question, what's the real agenda going on in the world? 2016, before his election, Trump suggested it may be a time to return to bringing back the gold standard. Um, which would be hard to do. However, it would be wonderful as we would have a standard to base our money on. Now, the next theme is actually the nodal axis shift. That's a destiny thing collectively and personally. So on July 18, 2023, the North Node moves into Aries and the South Node moves into Libra until January 11, 2025. Now, this happens every every eight that won't happen for another 18 years and it lasts 18 months okay the lesson the north node in aries ruled by mars and the south node libra is ruled by then venus are signs of identity the i am presence which is aries and we as the libra so it's to find the balance between who we are as individuals and our personal relationships and social networks. With the South Node in Libra, we will find some long-term partnerships and alliances ending, uncoupling as the North Node in Aries has individuals finally honoring their own individual needs and wants. Now, the nodal axis is really important because if you, in your chart, have say the north node in Taurus right now as it started back in January of 2022 and goes for 18 months you will you're having um, a Taurus nodal return which is something I'm embracing and that only happens for 18 years so when it when you're in that nodal thing it's like the angels hold you so knowing where your nodes are and when they're happening. So the next one is those that have the North Node in Aries. And I know a few people that have that. And so they have 18 months of getting it together, you might say. Okay. Now the next one is Neptune and Pisces throughout 2023 combined on March the 8th, 2023. And the next theme is Saturn as it will enter Pisces and stays there until May 25th of 2025, before taking a brief detour into the sign of Aries. Saturn will then re-enter Pisces on August 31st, 2025, and remain there until February 13th, 2026, when it moves into Aries. Now, Saturn's important. What does Saturn do? Well, Saturn makes order from the ethers of technology, culture, pharmacology, spirituality wherein Pisces energy wants to live in their creative fantasy world rather than face the challenges of reality. Meanwhile, Saturn knows that we need boundaries, limits, and focus to know what's really going on and continuous efforts to achieve our goals. This means that in order to move forward, you'll need to balance idealism and reality, especially when it comes to politics, money, worth, health, education, pandemics, and vaxes. You can only do that by taking the time to do your due diligence and research. We are actually experiencing a spiritual war. We're fighting for our soul. Remain diligent and awake. We became too complacent and indifferent, and the divine gave us a shock to wake up as we shifted into the age of enlightenment as energy beings aligning with the divine and trusting our intuition. The lesson not to listen or be coerced or brainwashed by the collective or people. I see and sense an extraordinarily, incredibly beautiful time. More self-government, more personal responsibility, 
responsibility for our health, world of inner happiness as we are excited to embrace and find our purpose and passion, miraculous healing energy, the med bed, sound, tune, sound tuning fork, spiritual interest in self-discovery, the gene keys, astrology, numerology, the Myers-Briggs, etc., back to basic nutrition and supplements, ancient mythology, mythology, method, methodologies of healing, taking care of our body, remember our temple for our soul, and authentic love, which is interdependent, not codependent, needy, and, 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 and controlling. Okay, the populist movement, it's there. Okay, of supporting community and a deep reverence of being multidimensional energy beings aligned with cosmic consciousness, divine God Buddha, and an intergalactic, intergalactic citizen in time. Okay, and so it's a real shift into the spirituality because of what we've been through. Is is there a um, the materialism, as I wrote in 2004 in my first book, at that time we were embracing it was materialism was not fulfilling the soul, okay? So we aspire, okay, through spirituality to, um, I, I, I just got to say this, as we leave, excuse me. I don't want to have to redo this. <laughs> so I just shut it off. As we, um, when we leave this earth plane, I've just got to pick up these papers. There again, Mercury. As we leave this earth plane, we take nothing with us. What do we take with us? Things that we've learned through the soul and how we have raised our consciousness and how we've raised our frequencies. And that's why we talk about somebody can walk in the room and they have such a strong, beautiful aura. They also attract a lot of different things into their lives, okay? And so what I just read was there's many more exciting modalities to be revealed. We're only touching the tip of the iceberg, just awaiting, uh, awakening. Oh my God, I just read where they have found a fruit extract that killed cancer in 48 hours and a new stem cell therapy in Mexico. So there'll be less evasive surgeries and expensive pharmaceuticals, which is a threat to the medical and pharmaceutical communities. Always know this, dare to dream. Whatever you can believe, you can conceive. Be prepared for miracles and magics. Thank you for taking your time, and I'd appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And the book Game Changer is a great gift, and hopefully something resonated with you. And I apologize for the phone. I thought it was off. Again, Mercury retrograde. And I definitely do not want to have to redo. Bless